Alright. Continuation of playthrough. But, uh, shouldn't be. Hasn't been that long, so. It's been probably a few hours. I slept for a little bit just to rest. Uh, we were, I believe, ex about to explore after dropping off all our cargo. So we'll do just that. Currently at a 16. Uh, totally could have. Mm. Totally get that to 17, but I don't think it's worth it as of right now. Mm, okay, so that one's good. Not to. God. Uh, question is, which one is that for? I think it's for the, um, oh god, that's hard to tell, alright, whatever, map, hmm. see that, that, this in the bottom corner over here, I wouldn't have seen that had it not scanned, that's, once you get a bigger fleet, it's not half as bad, but, or you can do console commands and just to reveal the whole thing. But I'm trying to do a legit playthrough, so can't do that. Whoa. That is nice. That's a good find. Very good find. Do I mean we don't have any transcriptonics? See, I don't want to risk going into into the warning beacon systems because they're definitely worth it. But outrunning entire fleet enemy fleets is just not in the cards for me. I think we're gonna go. Yeah, we're we'll go. We're we'll go diagonal. Still working on the audio quality. Wait a minute. That hat. See, it's sometimes hard to see it. But there's floating debris, and that means there's ruins on here. That was a repair. Or, well, not really. It's uh, it's an optional thing you can do if you have a ship with no uh, with demods. You can repair it for free. If you have a pristine nano forge or a degraded nano forge, you can use that. It won't consume it, but you can use it to take care of more than one demod. Pristine, I think, takes, uh, I believe, the majority of them, and the degraded nanoforge takes less. Whoa, okay. See, sometimes it's worth checking these out in hyperspace. Not always, but sometimes, because big, big fleet battles happen in hyperspace, and you can... I found victory class and conquest class ships just and that's Agni Shoal. Agni are a pain. They're not, um, like, they won't mess with you if you're, they're in small groups. Often, at least. If they're backed up by a larger family, they will just demolish your entire fleet, even if you have a good one. Since they don't really, they don't use shields, it's all hull, so you have to go anti-hull for them. Super annoying. That is the Rust Belters, I believe. Don't want to mess with them. I tend to avoid fighting the Agni just altogether, because that is an extremely late game. Unless you got balls of steel and a good fleet comp, you're not pulling anything off there. At least, in my opinion. Go for it if you want. Whoa. I have never seen this before. 
Oh, I'm taking that. That's interesting. No clue what that is. I will learn it, though. That's... Oh, and we have some volatiles for the neutrino detector. Colossus, I think I will... Personally, I like the ninth battle group more than uh, most of the other factions. Not for any particular reason, just because the ships they have available are very good. Like, they're, uh, the Paragons, the big boys, are very good. Though, not really necessary. It's more of a personal preference sort of thing. You'll, you'll get there in, uh, in understanding. Oh, and that's Pirates. And this is what we call an unwinnable fight for my current level. It would seem that this is a very pirate heavy system. And I'm going to have to, whoa. This one, 75, adequate, moderate, common. And Jesus, this is, this is what you would call a money world. Wow, that's, that's really good. Uh, let's do some, no, 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 let's do conflict packs, that's worth more. And an AI core, jeez. Yeah, that, that world was unnecessarily good, what the heck? Please let this be a legion. No, that's a supply cache. It's not bad, but not the best. I'm looking for specific types of ships that I like while while we explore. That's the caches I was talking about. If you saw what I did, I uh, got 28k off of it. Now getting close to these stars, you have to turn off your uh, your burn. Otherwise, you won't get into it, or you'll get into it, but just not as far as you need to. To get whatever you're trying to get. Uh, I don't need trams considering I'm part of the Reuter Union. Trams are essentially useless to me. Whoops, I turned off names. Okay. What in the venture class? This isn't actually that bad to have on a planet. Definitely. That's a weird combination. Uh, if that had better food, that would actually be a pretty decent first colony. But considering it's negative one, I wouldn't want to deal with it. Although the soil nanites that we picked up. Was that last episode or was that a different playthrough? It might have been a different playthrough. I believe the Sona Nanites that we might have picked up last playthrough, if I'm remembering right, would actually fit that. Oh, hello. Red October. Fuel Additive. Advanced Fighter Command. Okay. Remnant Hellboy Cannon. Definitely interesting. I have a good amount of mods that make finding all this stuff uh, both good and confusing. Because you don't know like what's good or not. Like I, I installed, I believe, the HMI mod, which is what's giving me all these remnant weapons and I have no clue if they're similar or better until I have like a comparable piece and that's another pirate fleet and that's do okay why did they do that that's not concerning at all and that's another beacon I may just take the risk and start going into those systems and save scum because I'm not the best at this, but you know, you make do. And like, honestly, safe scumming is just kind of how this game can be played sometimes. 
If you want to play hardcore, I mean, go for it. I am not that level of confident. Now this, this is a awesome planet. Rich farmland, moderate ore, and common organics. That is amazing. It's got two stable points. Let's check this barren world. Even if there's only two worlds in here, it is a very good starter colony. You don't need like everything in one system. It would be nice, but you don't. Sparse, moderate. This would be good for a production planet. That's actually not bad for a system. To be completely fair. That's rather cool. Alright. On to the next one. We will... It, this will most likely either be colonized later by us as a starter planet or by one of the factions, which... Would be annoying, but we can always just steal it as we murder them. If it ever gets to that point. You want to avoid open hostilities with every faction. You don't want to get to war level without a very good production rate for ships and fleets. Personally, I like to make sure I win, so I wait a pretty long time. But for the sake of this, I'm going to try and get a production colony set up as quickly as possible, get a good fleet going, and see where to go from there. This doesn't have anything in it. That's It happens from time to time. Still disappointing whenever it happens, but sometimes space is just empty. God, I'm gonna sleep like a log later tonight, but until then, I still have the energy to do this and I don't have anything else to do. So anything large like that tends to be a debris field. There are some larger, more important things. Oh my. Okay, that's not not bad, we but not bad. You can you can uh salvage or yeah, salvage whatever you can from those if you really want to. I don't want to. Uh mostly because the small ones don't really have anything of worth and they can tend to be the most dangerous. Oh, hello. That was a fleet to the top right. Ooh. See, ricochet guns, I don't know about them. I had one of the small ones. They were not that good. But, I mean, try everything at least once within the tests and within the simulator. That's a habitat. Yeah, that's a fleet, too. Hmm. Don't really need fuel, so that was kind of a dumb. Uh, ditch the organics. Always double tap, even if you don't have room. You never know what you'll find. Come on. Oh, damn. Ah, I was hoping there'd be... Ooh, that is... Also, not a bad haul at all. A lot of these are actually pretty good. That's what a medium Corvus AM anti air missile system. Corvus AA large medium. Okay, that's that's the difference. That's why. Don't need those. Food is cheap and not really necessary for you to collect. I just, I'm a hoarder, you know, that's perfect. And 
that's all I can fit. We will... There's a gate down here somewhere, I remember. Yeah, we'll recover it. Let's see what much you got on ya. Assault chain gun. A lot of PD. I'll take all that and then sell you. And as you can see from our last playthrough, both of these have been fully repaired. Mm. So, which normally they cost about 100,000 depending on the ship. If you get really big ships and they're super damaged, it's cost me up to 1.5 million at one point. So, yeah, that definitely a good thing to take in this perk. Especially early game. That is fucked. Okay. If you see those, don't get too close to them. They will destroy your entire fleet in without a second thought, especially early game. Those are just wandering patrol ordos, and I fear for my life every time I see them. not that bad of course you could totally take them but I mean I'm just not the best at fighting and with current equipment it's it just makes it even worse let's see this fleet is probably going to no Okay, good. No fleet saw what I did. So, um, if you teleport into the, or gate your way yourself into a system with your transponder off and there's fleets nearby, they will try and intercept you to get you to turn your uh, stuff back on. However, it's not really necessary if you get lucky. I kind of want that. Locus SRM pods are the shit when you have a lot of small ships flying at you. Sometimes not even just that, they're just generally pretty good. I guess that's fine. I don't really need to have a reason to switch it. Yeah, see? What's, what's on this one? That's also a good one to take. 273, okay. 7k, 1k, because it has a D mod on it. Actually, speaking of, can I? I can't, because that requires that. We'll give that the assault chain gun. That's fine. And now we're going to add some stuff to these ones, if I can find it. Tuned drive. Where's the storage? Expanded cargo holds. Tuned drive, expanded cargo holds. So let's see, increased maintenance by 0.5 a day, yeah, it's fine, coolant cargo, what to sell off, okay, well, these are grayed out, we don't need them, sell them, quick cash. Don't sell these unless you don't ever plan on using them. Like, recreational drugs cost or sell for way more than this VPC actually is selling for. So not worth losing that kind of cash. And the survey data you can sell at your own discretion. Selling it will cause 
the people who you give it to to be able to or just generally anyone to be able to colonize the system faster and cause an expedition to go out and see if it's worth it uh, yeah I think that's good and then I will buy another one and then do the same to it now I'm going to need more because all these are the same now and they now cost me 1.22 alone just for these four ships. Two supplies a month just for those four ships. So I will have to be more careful with how I allocate my resources. God, my arm's stiff. Got it. I wish I could pop it, but I can't. Yikes. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, see, this is, this is what I'm talking about by outer uh, hyperspace battles. Happen all the time. Not always fun if you get caught in the mix by an interdiction pulse while you're trying to run, but, you know, things happen. That's why save scumming exists. And also you don't want to leave your transponder on. It's okay because I'm going to a nearby system, but normally you want to keep that off in hyperspace, otherwise you'll get targeted by pirates without a second thought. Okay. Now if you're wondering why I'm keeping all these weapons, it's because in my eyes, everything has a use. And if I get a fleet set up, once I get a fleet set up with everything and, and figure out what weapons I want them to have and if they're any good, I sell everything else. But I like to be able to experiment with everything. So that's just how I run things. See, it's always so nice to have some access and two of these Hellboy cannons is actually really good, but I don't have a ship that can use them, and that's pretty disappointing. But whatever, we will leave and start to go. As you can see, we're actually doing pretty well, even though we have a full, like, pretty big fleet for what we're doing we don't you don't normally want like a lot of ships of this size when you're doing exploration mostly because you run away but because of how i set up my attuned dry field which is a mod of a base mod of a uh, hull mod that basically is a slightly less powerful but cheaper version of let's see if it add is a cheaper version of I don't know if I have it unlocked yet but it's a cheaper version of a similar one that gives you plus two burn capacity for in uh, I believe it's around double the price of the attuned drive definitely good um, nothing to scoff at, but not uh, when you're trying to do a lot of everything. It's sometimes best to minimum min max. Like this normally should be 18, but because of a nav buoy is given like 20, which is the max. You can't go over 20, even though technically we're at 21, and that's pirates. I really wish they did not exist when I am around, but you know, pirates are pirates. It's not all bad because they're pretty good for just chucking your fleet at for free XP. Not for like running away to get bonus XP, but for like just generally murdering them. What is that, lifeless? I'm not going to bother. If the system doesn't look like it doesn't have anything, it just, I don't feel like doing it, dealing with it. Now, 
never knew recording would be this CPU intensive. Well, I guess it's not as CPU intensive as this. This is pretty intensive on the GPU and CPU sometimes. Holy. Yeah, see, nothing. But it has three stable points, so you sure do wish it did. You can totally colonize it, though, with, um, with these. They can mine. This can mine asteroids out of that system. So not 100% useless, not 100% useful. But it's an option. Okay, now now we're starting to get back to things. Wow. I did not mean to click that. Okay. Well, if you make a mistake clicking something, don't let any, don't put anything in there. Just full retreat, it'll send you back and you'll be able to reset it. It's a nice trick I learned run, running from uh, Remnant Ordos. But uh, yeah, definitely not good. And I'm going to run. We're going to grab this and then escape by... Oh, hey, nice. Uh, I need luxuries, or not luxuries, supplies. That's actually a pretty good one. Medium. Huh, that's interesting. UAF has some very interesting missiles. And transverse jumping out of there, because that's a fucking hellhole. Hoping none of these system, they're super, oh wait, that's a neutron star. Neutron stars are annoying, but they sometimes have labs with some pretty good loot in, right in front of the star. So, risk reward to that, same with black holes. They're kind of same thing. One's just directional, the other one's not so much. This is from a mod. Definitely good to have, but I, I can never seem to get it on actual planets that I want. It's strange, but eh. Uh, I guess we can check that one. Normally I'd check every planet, but let's take it. This is, and this is why. Ooh, this is, cause this is, this is exactly what I want to see. This is exactly 100% what I want to see. Now, you don't have to like it. I love it. These are not the best, not the worst. For what they are. Though I will be honest, there's, there's better ships. It's just very fun to so what is basically a old relic into a gunfight or into a ship battle and then just have it demolish everything with very stupid gunfire. Uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to demonstrate the neutrino detector. See these two? These are normal. Uh, we're surprisingly not getting any false reading. But it's reading the planet and the star. And that's reading the back planet. I hit all of the wrong buttons, but that's fine. Don't know why the music got all intense there, that's concerning. Whoa, and this is why you do scans. Uh, can I get another battle carrier? No, that's a shoe bill. Um, it's actually got some pretty decent armaments, but I'm not going to bother with recovering it with a story point just for weapons that I don't know if I'm going to use. Yay for organs. I think that's the first ones we found. What in the world?
This one could be a tough one. Let's see. I'm going to give it a shot. I haven't saved in a minute, but... I've got the Locust SRMs and a Squall now, so it shouldn't be too bad. This is why I like the Locust. It just, a lot of small missiles, and they just, yeah. Small craft, don't really like it. Understandably so. Of course, this one is the issue. Can you not? I don't know what is wrong with that officer, but they are just criminally insane. Uh, I tell you what. There we go. These little fuckers are annoying. Come on, let me get the salamanders. This is, this is what you need PD for. And also to take these little guys out. You don't need much. Haha. <laughs> Loser. Honestly, the small missiles are very effective for little to no reason. You strip the armor of an opponent and it's basically game over. Also, they did end up killing our little guy, so... And they're retreating, so we're gonna claim victory him and then order my second under command to handle it. Consider ship recovery, grab. Take all, sort. See, if we had that Legion class battle carrier up and running, would not have been even a slight issue with that fleet, and they would have actually avoided us. Which, I mean, they... Some, some fleets run whenever they see you and you're, like, coming at them. They'll run pretty quick. It's rather annoying to chase them down. Oh, that's interesting. What do we have over here? Hey, this is, yeah. This is what I like to use my story points on. This is what I consider getting a good fleet set up started it does not have many weapons though because normally i like to fit either a squall or no a squall here and a hold on and a hurricane merv launcher with two of these on a f on the front and then either and then lots of vulcan point defenses and flat cannons So, yeah, that's my, that's my play style. Very, very specific considering the legions are not comparably good to certain other ships. Don't get me wrong though, they certainly pack a punch for what they offer. In at least my play style. <laughs> not for everyone, but, whoa. This one's interesting. See, you want to like, colonize worlds with lots of things in them. 
like planets and stable points. This one has two, which is decent, and a tundra world, which is actually habitable, plus a gas giant for gas production. So a little bit of enough to make a difference. And it's got massive ruins, hello. Oh wow, massive ruins and industrial ruins. Adequate farmland, moderate, sparse, abundant. Plus cold with a cold with a mild climate. That doesn't make any sense. But all of its both of these are negated by or no 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 yeah both of these are negated by these and this one's just kind of there. Actually, you know what? I will recover another one of those mini guys. Say real quick before we get going. Okay, I didn't mean to transverse jump, but you know what? I did it. I don't really care. Whoa, you know, see, this is what I'm talking about. Nabui, Calm Relay. This one's a good one. For military production, at least, because it's got rocky, volcanic, a desert world. Yeesh. Okay. Actually, hold on. This little guy is going to have some stuff attached to it. Yeah, this one is worse because it's a, it's not really meant for combat. This one is meant for combat. But now I'm going to uh, wait for both of those to unfuck themselves with all the D mods they have. This doesn't have a fire wind. Why is it? What in the fuck? I didn't know that was a thing, but okay. This seems like a dumb idea, but I want to see what happens. See, even with time sped up, it's still super slow, considering I have two of these legions, which are very slow ships. Alright, good. Something to look forward to over there. Alright, good. Repairing that. Hello. Decline. Never take food. Unless you, for some reason, need food, but you shouldn't. More alpha level AI. Oh, like that, that, that's, that's just ridiculous. This, this is what, what you want. You want a lot of contraband. Did not mean to take the food. Oh, I can hold all the contraband? Oh, uh, well, okay. Oh, wow, okay. A lot of stuff here today.
It may seem like I'm throwing things out at random, but I'm really not. I'm doing it according to their pricing, which you will get used to prioritizing. Because bulk selling is not worth it. Ooh. That's a... If that's what I think it is, I or hope it is, I will be happy. For no other reason than why not. Let's check. Nope, just garbage. All oh, right, there's a desert world over here. I almost didn't check it. Oh, and it has ruins. This is why you check everything. Oh, sweet lord. Well, coming from the bottom right is a bad thing again. That is a worthwhile trade. Mostly because it clears up a lot of storage space that I did not need to be using. Okay. Now, I don't know why these guys are in here, but it worries me considering that they came from right about there. There it is. Whoa, where did they come from? This is why, yeah, that, that, I can't take that on. I can take these ones on. Can't take that one on. Oh, oh, that's a ship graveyard. Good lord. This, this is a good one. I'm going to keep this one. got built-in surveying equipment too that actually is going to help with our exploration it's got a lot of missiles missing a fighter bay small energy probably gonna throw on some bomber drones PD. I don't have any more harpoon MRMs for it, so kind of feel bad. Medium gravitational beam, auto blaster, gravitational blast. Yeah, that's about as good as it's gonna get. What are we looking at for all my peeps? Uh, I guess we're doing that one for you. I guess we're just getting out of here because there's no way I can actually like loot all or scavenge all that shit. Which is disappointing. Um, but it'll get, oh, there was a warning beacon on here. That would explain why I'm retarded. Okay, well, where is Candace? There we go. Bandit station. And then after this, we should get payday in a couple of days, and we'll be able to afford a second ship, including things we sell off. Or, not a second ship, but another ship. Oh, and as you can see, we have fully restored this one, and are working on this one, this one, and then these ones. So... That's how you know it's good.
No, I would not want to get caught with half of what I have in here, which was all the drugs I had. And all the AI cores. Honestly though, hoarding these is not that bad because you can make a huge profit selling them on the market for when they're needed. Ooh, now that, that's a good pickup. Costs half as much as a one of these, but is very good on the side of Oh, what the heck? Actually, what's your normal burn? Norm max burns eight. What's the max burn on this guy right now? It's nine. I guess we're adding in a two dry fuel to you. And then we will play with what we need to. Yeah, I don't have, I don't have enough to make this very good. If I had efficiency overhaul, this wouldn't be as much of a problem, but I don't. And I am depressed for it. It's not really a point. Fleet. Store you, store you. I guess we're taking these. Actually, you know what? This mule isn't needed anymore. I will have you go there. And then I will sell that mule off. Because I don't need it. For 24k, that's actually not bad. Okay, what did I see here? Moa D. Cruiser. And a Colossus nothing that I'm interested in. Okay, I'm gonna have to clean up my inventory. Okay, now we're gonna do over here. And since we have, let's see. I'm going to have to add expanded cargo holds to that, actually. This is why I'm so fucking disorganized. Uh, attuned, cargo, and I wish I had efficiency. I don't have efficiency. But I guess just pumping shields for now is fine. That's not, this isn't a D-Mod, this is a built-in one. Uh, so that's actually a good thing to have. Orange is bad. Whatever color your cursor is, is what is, or it's normally green in the base game. So that's, that's good for you. I'm going to take the expressway to save on gas. Oh, whoops. Fuck. 
got to be more careful about that. Hitting my mic is not going to be good. Thirty-three a day. It's not bad, I guess. How many till next level? Hundred K. All right. It's, it's a good, good, good thing to have. This is why um, auto save reminder mod definitely. Even if you're playing the base game, get this mod. This is going to save you so much hassle and lost hair, ripping it out. Oh wow, this one's a pretty big one. See, blue stars normally end up with large systems, but there's not much in them, like colonization av availability-wise. It's more like a production kind of system that you want close to your money system. But, you know, it doesn't happen very often. In fact, it's actually very rare for it to happen. I had one in a previous playthrough, but all the mods I had running made it cluttered, and this is what I mean by not ruins. That doesn't have any ruins, but it looks like it does because there's big rocks. It's tricked me into wasting supplies so many times. Otherwise, this system's empty. But yeah, these are pretty good production type systems. If you can get a hyper shunt, like a, or, which is, a, I'll talk about that when I actually find one, which I will. There's normally one or two up and about when you would use the adjusted sector mod. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess that's how we're doing it. anything to do or am I just gonna go insane I'm just gonna go insane that's lovely but I suppose there's nothing I can really do about it you would think there'd be something in a system this fucking large but there's nothing I love space that it's so goddamn empty. Uh, now go, go down to this one. The pathing in this game for when you're trying to get it to, to like the AI to go exactly in the direction you want it to in like a specific direction, it'll make you go try and go through this the star if the uh, jump point's on the other side. It's so dumb sometimes, and if you're not paying attention, you will just sit in a in the corona of a star and burn your resources for no reason. Okay, another another small one. Pop, nothing. Get out. Actually, how should I do this? I guess I'm doing it like this. Yeah, that'll do. White door. Orange, yellow and orange stars are what you're looking for. 
they are the perfect candidates to find habitable, worthwhile worlds. Other than that, good luck. Someday you can find random ones in like, I've had one, one in Black Hole, there's been ones in, yeah, this, this, this is why. However, this one is a military virus. Really good food though, decent organics, not so good on the volatiles or lower. Nothing but a second planet. A Terran? What the fuck? Okay, this is extremely rare. Oh my. This is perfect. This is quite literally the best world. It's got... It's de-civilized, but it bountiful food, moderate or plentiful organics, mild climate, habitable, and an ancient religious landmark. That is going to be very powerful. I think I might have to colonize this. It may be down in the corner, but it's not that far from a Cynation port or everything else. It's only about... 17 light years from the nearest center system. That's not bad. So, Alpha Curie. I will make a note of this on a piece of paper because I don't. I forget way too easily. I would, if I were you, I would definitely suggest grabbing a piece of paper and a pen and writing things down when you play this game. It's not necessary, but is really worthwhile when you run into things that you can't handle yet. Like this, this, this is a black hole. It's got pretty, pretty decent actually. It's kind of weird. Uh, all those planets you can totally colonize too. It's not like they're bad as far as I know. You can't tell unless you fully survey them, which I'm not going to do unless they have ruins. Of course a gas giant has ruins, what moron. Nah oh, oh, oh. this is a this is a diamond in a pile of shit. That's both of those are. That is exactly what just happened. A heron custom or a heron experimental. Four small. This is a missile carrier cruiser. Hmm. I'm going to take the prototype here and whoa. All right. Okay, I can't learn that yet. Interesting, interesting. That was strangely profitable. I mildly concerned. Uh, I'm going to save because 
that whole that small little bit in that system was very profitable that's that's worth like a, a couple million to me when you set up a colony or when I when I'm going to set up a colony that's worth a couple million in defenses in my mind not like literally but very very good to have See that this is what I'm talking about. Orange, red, and red is not as common. Still decent to check, but archipelago worlds, blue worlds, and green worlds, except for the lime greenish worlds, those are acid and not uh, not fun. And are also always almost always horrendous. Very rarely are they worth colonizing due to their hazard rating. This has nothing on it. That's, oh wow, this is, this would be a good one, but the only issue is, is that it has transplutonic ores. These, you don't want these on a farm world, but to be fair, this is very good, aside from this negative three. Map, okay, let's see. No, and it has three jump points, an Azure, a Baron, and a Baron. That could be made to work. Uh, I will also write that one down. Beta bound one. Okay. Just to check. That's a false reading. This flashing means false. I'm probably going to go over that because I uh, one or two more times because I'm going to forget that I did, but it's worth pointing out that that's how that works. And this is not at all armed up to the teeth, but you know. Still got plenty of cargo space, plenty of gas, we're good. This is when you want to start like getting more conservative with where you're going. When you start to see. I at least that's what I do, especially if my cargo is like getting full. Oh that has ruins. That does not. That's the only thing worth it. Scattered. Hmm, okay. I can work with it. Not the best, but it's definitely not the worst I've had before. I've had some ruins where it's just here. You get supplies, metals, gas, and that's it. Nothing of real value. This one looks promising. This is what I mean by lime green acid worlds. one's bright. That's not worth, not worth my eyes being singed into dust. Oh god, neutron, or no, that's a white dark, okay. That's not half as bad as a neutron star. Or, no, it's not even as bad as a neutron star. White dwarfs are fine. They're actually pretty, pretty small. Pretty, uh, pretty reliable. To be fair for tiny systems, white dwarfs can get, get there. Nothing. No, no, got we got rooms. Alright, alright. 
I, I can respect it. I can respect it. Hmm. Hornet LPC. Okay. Let's go check this second one. Nothing. We gotta go all the way up here and then make a U turn and then do this. If I ha end up having enough room, because who knows if we're gonna hit some random jackpot deposit in the middle of nowhere. It's happened before, wouldn't be surprised. We've been hitting them actually pretty frequently. Okay, good, there's an exit point over there. I'll just do a straight line. There, all right. Nothing on the red star. I will recover that. Okay. That's a, another terraforming option. That all three of these are terraforming options. I okay. I can literally make a perfect system. If I so choose, I can find a way to make a perfect system. Personally, what I'm looking for is one with nine planets. And yes, it's possible. It's really only happened with blue super giants. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. I mean, this one alone has three, six, so it's only three off, though the irradiated worlds don't really give me confidence. Why, hello. I did not realize you were going to be doing this so soon. But. This one will be interesting. Don't mind what I'm doing right now. This is mostly to feed my curiosity. Interesting. Well, I don't much like the design of this ship, so we're going to strip and then mothball. That might happen a few, I might do that a few times with certain ships just to see 
But as things are, I don't personally like ships like that that are small but with two large hard points. It's just, or large, yeah, hard points. But I don't know. Just they don't fit for me. Now this, this is what I'm talking about. Adequate, moderate, common, that's not bad, and habitable. That's worth its weight in gold. Though, if it had better farmland, that would be nice. It's not as good as the other one. Although, technically it is. Nah, it's, it's farther away. This one's kind of two of them in a row, huh? It's rather interesting. Yeah, see, I don't know. It's, that's an interesting. I've never had two system found two systems with two perfectly out of worlds like that. Same goes with, well, no, technically that one's a perfect one. It had a military grade virus on it. Call that perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Looks like another bust. But this is one of the this is one of the systems that would make a pretty decent uh holy. Uh, yeah, this would make a really good production one because look we got eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I'm retarded. Eleven, twelve worlds in one system. That is very good for both like mass production of military and economics of mining if these plants are any good for that in the first place you would need to survey them all you know this one looks pretty promising too tundra it's not bad let's see if it lives anywhere close to the expectations i have for it right now as in being interesting in the slightest because the last few systems have had nothing of value or interest Besides from the last one with being a lot of planets. Junker. Uh, you know what? No, no. Leave F5. I'm going to save this in case something weird happens. So sacrificing a ship to one of these can yield some decent, yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there, that's, that's decent results, that's something I'm going to keep, for now at least, so this has been actually a rather interesting system already, what should I put in here though, because let's see, you got, Several PDs, Clarity Hellbore, and Aphrodite. These are medium slots. Hmm. I 
Yeah, we'll go with that one. We'll go with her. Just find my name. How long have I been? Oh, wow. This is also nearly an hour long. Um, I might keep it going for a bit longer. I can be one hell of a bore. But this has been... I don't want to stop like right in the middle of this. And exploring does take a while. So I will... I'll tell you what. I will pause in the recording and continue it when something interesting comes up. Can I pause the recording? I used to be able to pause the recording. Hmm. So I've decided to uh, end the video as running a bit long, so that'll be the end of it. We will come back probably the next day.